Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through demand forecasting. So basically, what is demand forecasting, guys? So demand forecasting, from the name we can say demand forecasting means you are expecting about future. So you are thinking about future. So demand forecasting refers to any estimation of future demand for the product under given conditions. So under particular conditions, if you think about the future, how it will be, how the demand will be. So all those things will be coming under your demand forecasting. So demand forecasting is predicted just give me a second guys okay demand forecasting is predicted further demand for our future demand for our particular product so i hope everyone got a clear idea now okay so now let us continue so what is the purpose of demand forecasting guys so let us see the situations in long term and short term guys long run and short run forecasting okay so in short run if it is a short, small business so they will be having an idea about whether they should increase the production or not or they should increase the quality of the production or not increase or decrease the price of the production or increase decrease the quant advertising things so they will be having a clear idea whether to increase or decrease of any things so in short run this helps really a lot guys whereas in long run so basically short run is nothing but less than six years six months and long run will be more than five ten even twenty years also so for long run they can plan for the future like branches and they can have some employees and they can rapidly increase the quality of the product guys because if the product is clicking they can just do wonders with it guys and planning for the planning for many investments so they can even plan for many investments so i hope everyone got a small idea so the your question will be how can they expect about the future so there are totally three main methods guys survey statistical and other methods so we will be starting these three methods in our next lectures guys so let us meet in the next tutorials thank you thanks for watching